So now, as authorities search for the suspect involved in these three arsons, people directly impacted by this crime might be looking for a new ballot. We're also hearing from one young voter who says her ballot is among the ones that were damaged. Let's get to Ariel Yakabazi, who joins us live in this studio. So how can voters, if they're worried about this, get a new ballot if they want one, Ariel? Well, there's not too much to worry about. Elections officials over in Clark County tell me they're willing to give out new ballots for folks who drop theirs off over the weekend at the Fisher's Landing Seatran Transit Center. That's where Maggie Lind dropped hers off just before 11 a.m. Saturday. Yeah, as an 18 year old freshly, I was really excited to um, participate in this election, especially since it's a presidential election. Maggie Lind is a student at Washington State University and a Camas Washington native. She recently filled out her first ballot while at school, then made the trek home to drop it off in Vancouver. Oh, I thought I really lucked out. But her first voting experience took a turn Monday morning. And all of a sudden, the family group chat is blowing up, talking about the ballot box burning. And he goes, sorry, Maggie, I think that was your ballot. Maggie says her ballot was among the ones burned at three voting drop boxes in Vancouver and Portland. Has something like this ever happened before? No, this is, uh, this is unprecedented. Clark County Auditor Greg Kimsey says his office is busy getting new ballots into the hands of the voters affected by the arsons. On top of that, his team at the elections office and the Clark County Sheriff's Office will ramp up security at ballot drop sites across the city. We'll have one person in each ballot box, uh, 24, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, simply to observe what's going on. If they observe something suspicious, uh, they'll be instructed to call 911. They're not there to interact with citizens or to uh, uh, be confrontational in any way whatsoever. For voters like Maggie, she says she won't let burned ballots stop her from using her voice in this election. It's really easy to get stuck in that mindset of, oh, one vote won't change anything. But obviously, if everyone thought that way, there wouldn't be voting at all. So just try not to think like that. Don't let other people control your vote. Now, Greg Kimsey with Clark County Elections says if you believe your ballot may have been burned, you can call their office or go there to get everything sorted out. Now, ballots that were salvageable have been counted, and we'll be sure to bring you the latest updates on the air and online at coin.com. Back to you.